And welcome to another edition of the Celtic Spotlight here on the Carlo Sports Network. I'm Sean Myers, joined by a senior for the Carlo women's volleyball team, Cache Street. Thanks for taking the time to do this today. Yes. Yes, sir. Let's, uh, let's talk about this season. It has been challenging for everyone involved, obviously. Yeah. What have been some of the biggest challenges you've had with the volleyball season? I mean, the biggest challenges... The challenges that we're facing now, literally, not being able to play. I mean, that's taking a toll on everybody, you know, due to this COVID stuff. I mean, there wasn't I, – I could say the biggest challenge was preseason where we had to practice separate a little bit. And then, like, one group couldn't even practice for a while, you know. It was – that was the biggest challenge, I'd say. We, but, you know, we came together and we overcame that, you know. We was doing our thing for a minute. And yeah, it seems like you've had a good season as a team and certainly you individually. How have you evaluated your performance so far this season? Um, I mean, just sticking to my same goals, just trying to get better each year. You know, like there's you can always improve no matter how good you are, whatever. You know, I'm just trying to always improve no matter no matter what, you know. And you told me a year ago that one of the areas you really worked on improving was your passing. How has that developed over the past 12 months? Honestly, I mean, honestly, it's pretty good. I could say in practice, it actually been doing pretty, you know, Coach Jay, you know, shout out to Coach Jay, you know, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, I mean, I haven't really passed a lot in the games yet, but my little bit of passes, you know, it's been pretty all right for the most part. All right. Saving it for a special occasion whenever needed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> So uh, I want to talk about the, the match against Point Park this year, and I'm sure that that's not a great mm -hmm. memory because your team came so close to putting it away. You couldn't do that, ultimately ended up falling. How did your team handle that setback, though, and ultimately rebound? You know, since we, like, we have a good connection, and we have really a good connection chemistry, so we talked about it. I mean, we all just know that we have to just finish. You know, we just, the next day I practice, we just went even more hard. And it wasn't even me that had to say, maybe we need to work a little harder. It was everyone for themselves, so I'm proud of everyone for that. They actually really want to work hard, and we're going to get them. We're going to get them. So we're coming for you, point forward. We're coming for you. And we had mentioned that your team did bounce back. You got a victory after that. You have a couple yes. of victories in conference play this year. So what has allowed the team to have more success in the River States than a year ago? Um, honestly, enjoying each, like enjoying each other because, I mean, previous time wasn't always the best chemistry and best connection. But honestly, it seemed like everyone's getting along and we can communicate more. Like it's better than like we can communicate and it's not like we're coming at each other's throat. Everyone's actually having a good time. They're enjoying playing, you know. So we're going to we're going to just we're going to do this. We're just going to ride. It's your senior year. I'm sure you have some big individual goals as well as team goals. What are they? My team goals, I mean, hopefully it was the like always go to nationals, you know, be successful, get get a couple team wins. Um my team goals really was just like you know, just everyone work hard, you know, never get down on themselves. I just want everybody just to win, just to get more wins this year. And we're doing that. We're going to do that. So, what and is, oh, as an individual goal, right. you know, me, continue to work hard, Cache, and just, you know, just improve in what I can always improve in. You played a lot of volleyball at your time at Carlo, obviously now a senior. To this point, what has been your favorite moment? Um, I'll say literally just blocking. It feels good. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know. Just blocking. Just, I don't know. Just eating. You know what I'm saying? You've had a lot like, of blocks, it makes me feel so good. certainly, yeah. certainly yeah. something that you've become pretty good at. Yeah. One thing that is new this year is the fact that you're playing a lot of matches without fans, in particular, all of the home matches. How have you adjusted to that? I mean... Carlo really didn't get a lot of fans, but, like, it was always actually an excitement. It is really different because I'd be like, dang, my brothers and sisters and my mom and dad can't – my own son can't even watch me play. And my son, he loves his mama. He loves watching me play. So it is a little bit different because, like, I do love hearing, yeah, cash, and woo, and hearing just, like, everyone just actually get a little bit excited. And it is a little bit different, but, you know, having, like, a good team and good momentum and everyone who just, like, enjoy each other, it actually – it brings it up a little bit for you, but like you do miss the, the crowd sometimes. You do. You talked about your son. What are some of the biggest challenges of being a mother while also being a student athlete? Uh, 
uh, doing my homework. <laughs> you know, my son, he's a mama's boy. And all the time that I do get, I do be trying to spend it with him. But I also got to get them A's in class, you know. But that's doing my homework. Because, like, you got to come right home from practice. And I got to attend right to my son. And I give my son all the time I can. Aside from volleyball, what are some of the best aspects of Carlo University? Um, Literally eating. I like to go eat and work out, you know. So, I mean, it hasn't been so much fun because of COVID. But other than that, Carlo actually has some good teachers. I met a lot of good people. People look out for me. So I really appreciate that because one day I'm going to give back, you know, give back to the ones. And staying on that same point, what are some of the goals that you have after college? I mean, I use I tell people a lot. My name is Cash. It means money. So I'm going to be making money soon. You know, I'm trying to get into real estate. I want to open up daycares. I really want to help a lot. Like, I really want to give back to my community. I really just want to do a lot with myself. One day I'm going to be president. So vote me for president. There we go. Let's go back in the time yeah. machine. When, uh, when did you realize that you wanted to play volleyball at the collegiate level? Man, I used to really sit up late night in my parents' room. My dad would be asleep. I be used to sneak under the TV and watch volleyball all the time. I don't know. I used to really just love it. My siblings used to be like, you know, Shay, you always watching volleyball. I used to tell them, like, I'm going to play. I'm going to play one day. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. And shout out to SpongeBob because, you know, my brother and sister told me to shout him out because SpongeBob's cool. And he made sure he was good at volleyball. <laughs> you talked about your siblings. You have sisters who are athletes at East Allegheny. How have you helped them in their careers? Man, I just tell them to be the best of them. I want them to be better than me. And they, they work hard for themselves. I'm actually pretty proud of my sisters and my brothers, of course, because they came a long way also. And my family ain't nothing but they ain't nothing but athletes. So just seeing them in their own stride, it, don't, it just make me proud because, like, I don't even got to tell them much. But I just always tell them work hard and be, be the best of you and be better than me. I want all my siblings to be better than me, always. You mentioned SpongeBob already, but let's go to the movie realm. Do you have a favorite sports movie? I mean, I really, uh, I actually do like a couple of sports movies. I can say Coach Carter. I know it's basketball. I like loving basketball. It's another basketball movie. That is the know. most popular like answer amongst <laughs> young ladies. They all say love and basketball. I know. It's really my favorite. I don't know why. It just used to make me just like so happy. And I used to tear up a little bit. That's really my movie. I feel like that's me. Monica's me. You know, Coach Carter's a great one, too. I, I certainly enjoy that. Is. You know, I tear it up at the end. If you could meet anyone in the world, whether it be someone present or in the past, who would you choose? Man, I don't really know. I would say I want to I want to say Tupac and Biggie, you know, because I really love the old little school vibes. And I don't know. Every day before school, I turn them on. You know what I'm saying? Social media, everyone seems to have it in some capacity. What is your favorite social media app? I really hate social media. I okay. really do. But my favorite app is Instagram right now because you can really just like express yourself. I mean, I put workout videos on there. So it's like a, it's a way to try to just, I don't know, it can really build you for real. You can use Instagram a good way, honestly. You can use Instagram. Even though it's annoying, you can use Instagram in a good way. Lastly, let's pretend you're stranded on an island with one of your volleyball teammates. Who would you choose Man. and why? Uh, I could be stranded with any of those girls, you know, because we all love each other for real. Uh, being stranded with one, I would say Casey because she knows me best. So, you know, there ain't nothing like having nobody who just knows you the best. So, Casey, you my partner for life. And you guys would figure out a way to make it work, living together on an island. We gonna make it work. Yep, we gonna make it work. We pep our partners for a reason. Hopefully it <laughs> never comes to that, but at least we know you have something to fall back on if it does. Yep. Cache, thank you so much for doing this. Good luck the rest of the way in your senior season. Thank you. That is Cache Street, the senior middle hitter for the Celtics here on the Celtics Spotlight. Yeah.